which statement about a couple is not true. So what is a couple? A couple is two equal and opposite forces that don't act through the same point. So let's say we were to have a rod, and this rod experiences two forces, one going down here with a magnitude of 10 newtons, and another one going upwards, let's say here, with a magnitude of 10 newtons as well. So these two forces are equal and opposite. They're equal in magnitude, they're opposite in direction, and they don't act through the same point. Acting through the same point would be, for instance, if this force were over here. So if the scenario were this, then this wouldn't be a couple. You have equal and opposite forces, but because they act through the same point, it wouldn't be a couple. Okay, so option A, it says it must consist of coplanar forces. So what does coplanar mean? Coplanar means within the same plane. So this is basically saying that the two forces exist within the same plane. What is a plane? A plane is just a two-dimensional surface. So imagine if you were to hold up a rigid piece of card, so this card can't bend or fold. You can change the angle of this card as you're holding it up with your two hands. The card forms a two-dimensional surface and can be orientated any way you wish. That will be a plane. So if you have two equal and opposite forces, this force and this force, and they don't have to act through the same point, no matter what the orientation of these two forces would be, so long as they are equal and opposite, then you can move that piece of card that I was talking about earlier, reorientate it in such a way that the two forces that we have here fit within that piece of card or lie on that piece of card and therefore lie within a certain plane. So A is true. A couple must be a pair of coplanar forces. Option B, it says it can produce rotational motion. That is true. If you consider a pivot point in the middle here, these two forces will have a net anti-clockwise moment about that point. They both have anti-clockwise moments, there will be a net anti-clockwise moment, and that will cause rotational motion. For option C, it says it can produce translational motion. Well, what is translational motion? Translational motion is when the center of mass of an object moves from one point to another. So let's say the center of mass is over here, right in the middle. So with these two forces, will the center of mass move from this point to, let's say, over here? If it does, or if it can, then this couple can produce translational motion. So just to reiterate, the two types of motion that we're considering here are translational and rotational. Rotational would be when the object rotates around a fixed point, and these two forces will cause the object to rotate around this point in the middle. Translational motion is when the center of mass moves from one point to another. So we're trying to think about, can these two forces cause that? So the easiest way to do that is to consider the rod as just a point, a point object. So if, let's say, this is our rod here, this rod experiences two forces, a 10 Newton force upwards and a 10 Newton force downwards. These forces are equal and opposite, and therefore they cancel out. There is no resultant force on the object. There is a resultant moment. The resultant moment would be due to these two forces that cause that rotational motion that we were talking about. But there isn't a resultant force. Because again, if you consider this object as just a point, the two forces 10 up, 10 down, just cancel out. So if there isn't a resultant force, there wouldn't be a resultant acceleration, and therefore there wouldn't be translational motion. If the object is at rest to begin with, and you have no acceleration, the center of mass can't move from here to another point. So the answer would be C. We'll just quickly go through option D as well. It has a moment with units of newton meters. Well, yes, that is the unit of moments. Moments is force times perpendicular distance. That is newtons times meters. And a couple is just a pair of moments. So it does have units of newton meters.